Good evening and welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 4. Onto the island now, so we're gonna just run ahead. Ashley's been brought to this island and I do um I do really like this part. It's got some interesting enemies. And it's getting more towards the sort of tail end of, of the game. Still a fair way to go, I would say. Yeah. Still a good chunk of the game to go. Some more bosses to come. Just travelling up to this top bit first before we go to the main part of the island because there's a, an emerald and some coins as you can see. Ah! Now what I do want to check is... Okay, so we've got no ammo in the magnum. Hmm. Maybe should have... Uh, got an upgrade for that because there's an enemy coming up where well, that would be pretty useful now what you want to do here really is just run back probably get out the shotgun actually And these guys have actually, some of them have got like shock bounds. That's a new, a new type of enemy. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. I got a shock there, I don't know why. I, uh, I know this game at the back of my hand, but um, still now and again. Ah. Yeah, that guy gave us a massive shock there. Okay, so in this bit there is going to be... Um, not for the last time. This mini fun guy. So, if I can... That's got us. Try and get him... God's sake. Wouldn't let me shoot. Uh, right, let's heal up. It's about time we uh, use one of these anyway. I think we'll just let him come to me. There we go, he's dead. And he drops a fair chunk of change. 15,000, massive. And now it's just a case of wrapping up the other enemies. There's still a fair few to go. Run. Just be aware of your surroundings. You know, they can, like I say, I know this game pretty well, but they can still catch you out. So, just keep watching. Ah, shield guys. I hate the shield guys. I mean, they're not too tough. If you've got a shotgun, you can just easily blast through the shield like that. Just don't like them. Just to dodge that. Go for the red nine for this guy. Is that two exploding heads? Or just the one? Or just the one? That guy just decided to take a long time to die. Now the red nine, I was just going to say, has got pretty good crit chance, which is what you need for the exploding heads. Good headshot there. And there's a uh, crossbow guy up there. 
We'll leave him for now. Really bad timing. Was not keeping an eye out for my uh careful crossbow guy. Good crossbow guys now jump down. Yeah, but that was a little bit sloppy. Minigun guy getting some health hits in. Uh, that, that can happen, but that reload there, that was uh, sloppy by me. Yeah, turn this laser on. Again, the puzzles are fairly simple. Don't even call it a puzzle, really. You basically just have to readjust these mirrors up top to... Um, Get this one onto this mirror. I'm pretty sure there's some ammo, magnum ammo. Yeah. There we go. The music's gone quiet, which is a good sign that there's no enemies around. Another quick time event. Just some interesting news about um, Resident Evil 4, the remake. Apparently they're going to do away with quick time events, which I'm actually quite pleased with. I mean, it's one of the big parts of, of the original game, but I think quick time events for me were of a certain time. Um, and I, I think you can do away with them, to be honest. I'd be interested to see how they do it, though, because there's, there's quite a, a few significant battles and events where they utilize the quick time um, so how they do it without is going to be intriguing right, so just want to draw this guy out a little bit again in that last section we weren't um, the most economical either with uh, with uh, ammo and stuff nice big head smash there and again, if I hadn't have been economical, but I didn't lose any health, I wouldn't have been so bothered. Right, so there's going to be some guys here. Head smash this time, but should kill him with a few swipes. A little bit too far away. Oh crap. Well, this has been a rough start. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. It's not like me. close by and there's a couple of them might as well go for shotgun really could do with a yellow herb because we'll want to heal at some point but um want to do it when um we've got that yellow herb Yoink. Uh oh forgot about that uh Rocket launcher guy. What the? Well, well, well. I am just being hit by everything today. I was thinking, well, the rocket launcher guy couldn't have shoot me. There we go, that's better. I've just used a, a green and red health because we've actually got a few of those and we just need to heal. It's not the end of the world. 
surely you've seen from, from other videos. Yeah, I'm not perfect, but you know, I don't take that much damage. Pretty good at conserving ammo and all of that stuff. And there uh, been none of that so far. Ooh. Good to leave him. Uh, shotgun. And we can sort of. There we go. I knew he was going to destroy his own people. Again. Might get these. Maybe not. Swipe didn't hit. Let's just wait. There we go. <laughs> Good dodge. Still more. I mean, you can definitely tell that I, um, you know, I record this and put it out as is. Because if I was uh, reloading or anything like that, you would uh, you'd be not seeing <laughs> those things in it. Jeez, what is going on? the merchant. So we are going to buy the treasure so map for the island, just so we've got it. Thank you. What are you buying? And got some decisions to make here. So I kind of think I might want to increase the capacity for the magnum, because that will come in useful. And the free ammo for that is massive. Well, the strike is down to zero, so I'm definitely going to increase strike. that. <laughs> Thank you. I think I'll do the broken butterfly, because that's good. Is that all? <laughs> And no, I think we'll leave it for now. On second thoughts, I am going to increase the capacity for the rifle. I'm going to do that now. Just sold a couple of things. That's going to be really useful because we only had a few bullets left. And this is a pretty interesting section here. That should be most of them gone. Oh, this is this is the creepy section. Yeah. There's something in here, yeah. Oh, that music's terrifying. There's a guy here, as you can see. But no, let's uh, take him down properly. Head smush. Now this bit, you've got to be careful. <laughs> Gives you a bloody fright if you uh... remember the first time that happened. I nearly bloody crap myself. That thing burst, burst out of this oven incinerator thing, and uh, obviously it's on fire and it grabs you and causes all sorts of uh, issues. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be quick on the draw with that. Oh, these guys as well. Now these guys aren't too bad if you managed it. Headshot them like that, that's uh, this guy here. Headshot him as well. Now they always fire two shots, so, well that was clever. Just run into the wall. So wait till he's done the two shots. But I don't know if you heard that, there's uh, be more coming on here. Now, ideally what I want to do is get a little bit closer. Because of that shield guy. Oh dear. 
And this is the new variant of that, uh... So this Plaga's head thing. And I think the worst of these weird, creepy things that crawl out. And they're pretty quick. So if you get them, if you get if you get in quickly and shoot them, they're fine, but... He knows, doesn't he? He knows I'm watching. <laughs> Amateurs. Just hang in there, Ashley. I'm coming for you. This bit you've just got to be on your toes a little bit. That won't be the last of them. Kind of giving yourself away by glitching through the wall there. Nice. Hit smush. Just to give you a heads up, there is a new item that we can purchase, which is the tactical vest. So this decreases the damage taken by 30%. As soon as you can get that, you want to. I have sold a little bit of ammo to free up some space, but I still haven't got enough. I'm about 20, what, 27,000 short. So we'll definitely get that the next time we can. Uh, if anyone has played this and remembers this, uh, that music completely freaks me out, and it's for... I think one of the creepiest, creepiest enemies coming up. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously he's dead. It's fine. And it's locked. So it's fine. Honestly. Again, fairly simple puzzle. Uh, you just need to move, basically, the colour that you want to get to first. So you start at the top left, move the blue. And now we'll probably want the green, because it's heading that way. And again. And now you want to move the red. Fairly simple puzzle. Right. So if you did read that, um, yeah, got the regenerators coming up, which, uh, uh, just listen to the sound. I mean, how creepy is that? I really jump at you and everything. Ah, I hate these guys. Absolutely hate these guys. I 
mean, as their name suggests, they just keep regenerating. they're not completely indestructible so I may have mentioned a while back I think it was when I first got the rifle the uh, the semi automatic rifle rather the good rifle that I've got now that you can purchase a scope that works for both rifles um, but I didn't see the point because the one you got with it is fine and you do actually get another scope further down the line. We'll see that come into action soon. Oh god, those guys are creepy. No, it's giving me free magnum ammo. Run! Jesus, man. Now, at this point, you've basically just got to shoot them and hope for the best. And eventually, with a certain amount of hits, they will die. Good thing is you get good money from them. Right, just going to run here and then run back because he's there. Right, I think we're going to have to rifle them. We have got plenty of bullets for now. Oh, just creepy as hell. Look at that, man. I mean, as you can see, they're te technically not indestructible. But, um... Come on. And on the pro difficulty, these guys just absolutely absorb bullets. I mean, come on, how evil is this guy? He's just... Ah. So, we've got a scope. It's an infrared scope. And it's specifically useful against these regenerators. It's useful in general anyway. But its main purpose is... Uh, yeah, against these regenerators. So what you want to do is combine it with the rifle. And then we'll equip this. And... Ah. Now you've got to try and shoot the Plagas, which are on his body. So you aim for these particular points. And I'm panicking. But there you go. So if you don't have the infrared, you can still kill them. I just honestly hate these guys. I don't know why they creep me out so much. And that's probably not the last you're going to see of them, by no means. Now you can operate these. It's like one of those games in the arcades where you can... Uh, you know what? I think we're going to go for the... I know there's two there, but... Yoink. See you later. Now I think at this point you can't do any more, I don't think. Because they're crouching. 
yeah. So we'll exit that. No. Need to exit. But yeah, I wanted to get rid of the crossbow guy because I think he's the the more dangerous just because of the distant shots. Guys, here, yeah, the two, uh, two dudes. Probably just want to use a grenade here, actually. And potentially follow up a shotgun if needed. I could have rifled them in the head. Sesame. That's a bad shot. <laughs> Hello, friend. So, I think we're okay for now, but um, you will see one of our friends coming in a second. Uh, here we go. God. A bit too much coffee today for him, I think. It's the layoff of caffeine. Ah! Nope. I forgot about this guy. He's the spiky regenerator. got one on his back as well that you have to kind of pretty much there you go pretty much just have to shoot through and he will give us a key but we are going to have a scour around first to see what we can pick up and I did say in a, a, a few previous episodes that you know I did have a lot of cash at one point um, but as you can see, when we last went to the merchant, it, it soon goes once you've upgraded your weapons and you're buying new things. It uh, doesn't last long. I think they the do balance it well. I'm just going to mix these green herbs. because Normally what I do is, if I've got quite an abundance of green herbs, I will mix them into three and I'll sell them because these just give you a full heal. You, I don't want to sell any of the green, red and yellow herbs until my health is completely full. Then they are a great so source of income as well. Um, but yeah, we'll probably sell some of these flash grenades in the next merchant as well. Now, see all these crows here? This is a really good use of a flash grenade. Because it pretty much just kills them all. 
you get a flash grenade back anyway. And uh, you get a big pile of money, which is really useful. And we'll see what the uh, see what we can get rid of with the merchant. First thing, we're definitely buying the tactical vest, so I've sold a few things. I think we'll actually increase the firepower for the shotgun. Just got enough for that. <laughs> Thank you. This is Leon. Request backup. I repeat, request backup. Damn. No backup for Leon, eh? Definitely run out of friends. So you just want to head back the way you came. There we go. Got the, uh... The main people I wanted to kill, which was the uh, crossbow people, because they're the most difficult from distance. These guys can just please don't be. That's why it's not one of the. Uh... Damn, two good headshots in a row there. Can we get three? Nah, not quite. Clearly there is a, yeah, not the ideal weapon from that range, but I just want to make sure he's not firing at me. There we go. Yeah, it's all gone suspiciously quiet, but it's not going to stay like that for long. Let's just I keep forgetting I can <laughs> reload my TMP now because I'm not having to worry about upgrades. This is a nice letter for more, well, friend. Hey there. Nice. Oh, not so nice. Not so nice. Wait for it. Now, those are quite easy to kill if you hit them. Um, those weird crawly things. It's just making sure you actually hit them. Strike is a pretty good one to use because it's got quite a widespread. Quick to fire too. Switch to TMP. Focus on the uh... again. Who's going to damage you first? It's going to be the crossbow guys. Focus on them. Ah, I didn't get the smush. On the head smush. What the? I don't know where you had gone there. much that time and lots of crossbow guys oh, this is a little bit tricky don't care if I'm wasting a few bullets just want to make sure I don't get hit like I said before if you're gonna choose between ammo or health, keep your health. Looks like this is it. Oh, it stinks. Sure does. No way, Leon. Way. <laughs> Are you 
out of your mind? I knew you'd be fine if you landed on your butt. You... Ooh, what a roast. What is this? Come on, let's go. He's not a friend, that's for certain. Oh, press the button too many times. I blocked us in. Run. Run. Now the good thing is, is he's handy bowels. He's not dead, but... Uh, he's not dead at all. Didn't help in the slightest. I thought it might have... Killed his some of his Laplagas that he's got on him. And then sort of shoot him around about. Yeah. Because he's got one on his back, but I don't want to risk sort of trying to see the. that side of him. Um, and again, some of the teamwork mechanics, some very simple things, but I do like. at any game I've played, I've, I've, I've never been keen on. The whole sort of um, having to protect someone and having a, a character that follows you around and then having to use them in specific situations. But I think it really works in Resident Evil 4. That was not good timing. Always check your air. Your ammo before you go into the next part. Made a mistake there. I've done that a couple of times this episode, haven't I? And one right about in the chest, a bit high maybe. There we go. Right, I will reload this time. But yeah, I do think that the the two player I keeps in two player, but the co character does work well in this. Come on. Do a yep headshot 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 ah bad thing about headshots is you can then get these uh I'm still not sure what those guys are called now there are many occasions where having Ashley being in the armor suit is very useful and this is certainly one of them want to make sure that you're fully fully prepped for this bit and because she's in, invulnerable I tend to do this in a slightly different way Look, there's a gate here. so you get all these guys rushing in you're trapped and you've got to go here to unlock this bit so I want Ashley to operate this. If it, if she wasn't invulnerable, I'd probably have me do it um, because she's at risk. I'm, that was bad. That was bad. Run, 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 run. No. Oh dear. Well, that went about as poorly as I could expect. I mean, Ashley's quite happy just sitting there. So wasted a few bullets there because I really want to prioritise on uh, just getting Ashley back in here again so she can get through the door and oh my god we just want to escape that was pretty poor And as you can hear by that, that 
god awful noise. There's another regenerator. I swear to god. At least these aren't the spiky boys. Who? Not only are even more creepy and more dangerous, um, the harder to kill because they've normally got. Oh, there's still another one. Now, I think this way is safe to go for now. Yeah. <laughs> like I say, it doesn't matter how many times I play this game, those guys just creep the hell out of me. It's the noise they make as well. Just the whole thing. They're just. I'd be really interested to see what they're like in uh, the remake. Oh, I think he's through there. Ah. The creepiest bit is when you shoot their legs out and you think I've got them now, and then they start leaping at you. Getting a good chunk of change though from these kills. I love the new game plus in this as well because even if you play the game perfectly, you get all the money, um, conserve your ammo, etc. You can't upgrade all of the weapons in your first run. You can get them mostly there. I'd, well, I say that it depends on how many guns your class is there uh, that you want to upgrade. And we're just going to mix that yellow herb. So we've got another full heal with the upgrade as well. And we'll just go on the merchant and uh, see what he's got. So we've just upgraded the firepower of the rifle. And now the last thing we've got left that we can upgrade is exclusive upgrade, which increases the firing speed. That's a really good upgrade because the, the, the sniper rifle is brilliant. It's got great power critical hit rate it's great for headshots obviously distance as well um but the fire speed increasing is a significant um upgrade to the weapon and what we'll do is probably focus on the striker after that increase the firepower for that the exclusive upgrade for this is increasing its capacity to 100 i think it is and that just makes us such a good weapon don't even have to worry about reloading you also get loads of free bullets as well which is brilliant but i'm going to call that the end of the episode now just because there's a fairly lengthy section coming up so i thought i'd leave it there i don't want the episode getting too long i've really enjoyed being back in the game again like i say i had about well over a week off playing and recording so i've I thoroughly enjoyed it although i do feel a bit gutted that i was sloppy in the beginning and probably throughout the episode actually especially the, in the island part took a few hits but you know i'm not trying to play an absolutely perfect run just trying to have some fun so if you can leave a like down below and a comment, that would be much appreciated. It does help. And think about subscribing to the channel as well if you want to keep up to date. But hopefully I'll see you all next time where we've got some more battles alongside Ashley and we'll be moving on to the next section as well. But thanks for joining and I'll see you then. Cheers.